What's up guys, it's your boy Flick once again. And today guys, I'm making a video about the pros and cons of self-improvement. For many of you guys that don't know, your boy Flick was once over 240 pounds. And yes guys, I was a big hefty guy for my size. And over the years guys, over the period of, of two years, I improved my life so much. I've lost so much weight. I've lost about 65 pounds guys. To this day, I lost about 65 pounds and I overall, I feel great. I feel, you know, amazing. My life has changed. And this was what inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. But with this came a lot of pros and cons, guys. And I want to break it down to you guys, the pros and cons to self-improvement. It wasn't an easy road for me. Nothing was, you know, easy. It was all sacrifice. So I'm going to break it down this video into two parts. I'm going to tell you the cons of self-improvement first, and then I'm going to say the pros of self-improvement, guys. So I can let you guys know for all those that follow me and you're on your path to self-improvement, I want to let you know some of the hurdles that I went through and overall, my overall experience, guys. So if this sounds interesting, let's jump into it. One of the cons, guys, that I want to mention is um, adapting to a new lifestyle. What do I mean by that? Guys, when I was about 240 pounds, I was uh, diabetic, I had high blood pressure, I was pretty much overweight, and guys, um, the doctor told me that I, if either there's two paths, either I, I go this way and, and, and it's health, or this way and I die. So adapting to a new lifestyle, guys, was one of the challenging things that I had to face in my life. Adapting to a new diet, adapting to a new uh, sense of, of well-being, guys. And I mean that I needed to change my life completely. Like I had to stop overworking. I had to stop eating what I used to eat. And that was one of the challenges that I had. So I will say that's one of the cons. I'm um, into this is that you really have to change your life, guys. It's not easy. It's going to be a sacrifice. But at the end, you will see results, guys. Number two is a little bit heartbreaking. Um, as I began to improve my life, as I began to lose the weight, as I began to, to set my path on, the, on a journey, on a nonstop journey, guys, the people that once supported me stopped supporting me. To this day, guys, I got so many people that completely switched on me as I started improving my life. I guess they were so used to seeing the old flick, the old me, but I had to let people know that that old me was long gone. And a lot of people walked away from my life. A lot of people started feeling intimidated. A lot of people started getting in their feelings. And this was one of the major issues that I had going on um, on my path to self-improvement is that those people that once rejected you and those people that once had your back or that were supporting you now feel a little bit intimidated about you because they see you improving. They see you uh, now that you're actually, you know, succeeding in your goals, guys. And this will definitely get people in their feelings. Um, there's a, re a recent study that was shown that half of the people that, you know, change their lifestyle in a drastic way, like losing weight, and they're married 50% to 60% and then divorce. Um, I don't know why this study, uh, you know, I don't know why this happens, but it definitely happens, guys. When you're on your road, when you're on the road to self-improvement, guys, best believe a lot of things are going to change for you. A lot of things are going to, you're going to see things in a very different way. You're going to be more confident. Um, people are going to, you know, walk away from you. Uh, maybe not as much as me, guys. But definitely, I know people were definitely in their feelings. And that's something that I had to deal with until this day is dealing with people and their emotions because they just can't accept the fact that I completely changed and I'm a completely different person. One of the things that I mentioned, guys, is hard work and sacrifice. Sometimes I don't want to get up and I don't want to work out or sometimes I don't want to get up and, and do things that I need to do. But I have one goal, guys, and my goal is to succeed. And my goal is to be the best that I can be, inside and out. 
And one of the hurdles you're going to have, guys, is sometimes you're not seeing the results that you want to see. And sometimes, guys, it's going to piss you off. And sometimes it's going to make you want to quit. It's going to make you want to just say to yourself, screw, screw this. I'm done. But don't give up, guys, because at the end of the road, there's success. This is one of the hurdles that you're going to go through on your path to self-improvement. Is that when you don't see quick results, you're going to want to give up. But life is not about quick results, guys. And you don't want quick results. You actually want to enjoy the journey because the journey is quite an experience. And for those guys that are watching this and you know what it is for your life to quickly switch, you know, uh, you guys understand what it is. You know, I don't have to say anything. Because a lot of you guys are going through this and you, you know, you see your lifestyle changes, you know. So this is one of the hurdles that you're going to you're going to go through. You're going to want to quit. You're going to want to stop. But the, er, the journey doesn't end there, guys. And it's not the end of the road. This is just the beginning. Guys, when you're on the road to self-improvement, no one is there with you. Because in reality, no one cares about your health. Only you care about your health. Only you care about yourself. People don't live in your body. You are responsible for your own success and for your own well-being. And for this, guys, you will venture on this journey alone. But never fear, because every now and then you'll have someone supporting you. Like, I've had a good support system from my family and good friends. But overall, guys, this journey is to be, you know, traveled alone. And you will feel alone, but that's the, that's the con to self-improvement. And that's what happened to me is that when I started doing something, yes, I had people uh, with me working out, but they quickly fall off and they quickly start doing their own because it's your goal and it's your dream and it's your plan. It's not every, every, it's not someone else's plan it's your plan. So for that reason, guys, you'll venture on this journey alone. And now to the pros, guys. One of the best, best, best feelings ever is no longer feeling like a waste and feeling energetic and having all the energy that you needed, that you want, that you desire. You're more enthusiastic. You're more confident. You know, confidence is through the roof and people can't stand that. You're going to have haters. But guys, your overall well-being, you're just going to wake up every day feeling good, feeling bomb, feeling ecstatic, feeling like you could take over the world. That's one of the feelings that I, I live with every day now since, self, since I've improved my life, guys. And now I can tell you guys that I will not ever, ever, guys, take this for granted because before all this, when I was overweight... I was always tired. I was always sluggish. I didn't want to do anything. I always wanted to sleep. Guys, and I feel so energetic. And this is one of the pros, guys, of self-improvement. It is your overall well-being. So take that into consideration. Another pro, guys, is your dating life. Yes, I'm not going to lie, guys. When I was a lot heavier, I didn't get the quality of women that I get now. And this is going to happen to you. Overall, guys... For all those guys that are dating and they're doing self-improvement, your life will change and you will have definitely different, you know, women after you, you know, and this is also going to intimidate those other women that you used to date before, you know, so this happened to me. So one of the, one of the pros guys that I went through is definitely, definitely having more options now because you're a lot more confident. You know, you're a lot more, you know, looking more healthier. You you know, when people see you taking care of your body, see you taking care of your temple, guys, it lets you know one thing. It lets you know that this person really cares about himself. So it, it, it makes you stand out. And not only that, but the way you carry yourself, you're just more confident when you're, you know, when you work on yourself, guys. So this is one of the things, like one of the pros that I had through my journey, guys, was my dating game, the quality of women. And I'm not going to say that my dating game sucked before, but it's just the quality of, of women now compared to before, guys, definitely. Um, I, would I would love to say that looks don't matter, but in reality, guys, you know, 
being honest looks do matter to some point. When you self-improve, people take you more serious and thus opportunities open up. This is one of the pros, guys, to self-improvement is that now you have confidence. And with confidence, people take a notice into that. And you will see yourself having, you know, more opportunities than other people or, may, or more opportunities than you had before. This definitely happened to me, guys, in the last couple of months before I even launched my YouTube channel, guys. I've received so many opportunities from so many people wanting to work with me. So many sponsors wanted me to, you know, uh, model their clothing line or style their sunglasses, guys. And this is some of the opportunities, guys, that you receive when you take care of yourself when you're on the road to self-improvement now this is what happened to me guys you know results may vary you know because at the at the end of the day it's all about how hard you work too but this happened to me um i received a lot of opportunities guys as i began to take care of myself as i began to like uh changing my my way of thinking my lifestyle guys definitely the opportunities opened up one of the things that happened to me, guys, um, on my road to self-improvement is the quality of people that you meet, you know. Um, I'm not going to say, you know, that my lifestyle has changed drastically, but I do say that now as I'm, you know, more confident and as I'm more of a, of a have a business mindset, the, the people that I attract now, you know, are way different than the people that I used to hang out with before. Um, now I only I hang out mostly with a lot of business people and I hang out with mostly a lot of people that are into, you know, uh, working out that are into like self-improvement because you start attracting these type of people. You are what you attract, you know, and some of the things uh, some people I can't relate to what they're doing anymore. So I could relate to what. You know, when it comes down to business and when it comes down to self-improvement, like gym, working out. I could relate with these type of people. So this actually happens, guys. And I, I, I think it's a good thing because you always have to adapt and you always have to like evolve in time, you know. And I'm not saying that I ignore these people or my, my you know, my friends. I don't. We just don't buy like how we used to buy. But it doesn't mean that I don't, ha I don't have love for them and that we're not tight. We're still tight. Only that that's, that's what happens when you're on your road to self-improvement, guys. Your lifestyle changes for the better. You know, you might not see it, but after a while, you start seeing the big picture, guys. You start seeing that your life just starts improving overall in every aspect of your life. You just start improving. And this is what I want from you guys. This is what I want for all of you guys that have been following my channel. Self-improvement is always going to be the key to success, guys, because self-improvement is going to give you that confidence to go out there and be the best version of yourself that you can be. And guys, this has been quite a journey for me the last two years. And overall, guys, I just feel great. You know, there's a lot of things that I still need to work on. There's a little uh, more flaws that I need to work on, guys. But overall, for all those people that are pretty much tired of, of just life and, and you need to make changes in your life, in order for you to make changes, guys, like me, you need to be tired of being sick and tired. That's the way that I was able to change my life. One day I just got up and just said, you know what? I'm sick of this shit and it's time to do something about it. And until that day comes, guys, you'll be living the way you're living now. So this video, guys, I hope this helps. I'm your boy Flick once again, dropping some fire for you. And trying to improve your life one video at a time. And until next time, peace.